Mike Vance was, uh, I don't think he was a member of NSA, but he was certainly a colleague of ours. He worked for Walt Disney. He died just a couple of years ago. He's the guy that came up with Think Outside the Box. And I had a chance to know him briefly. So Walt said to him, I want you to come up with a university for us because we're creating the happiest place on earth. We've got to teach it. And Mike said, cool. And he did it. Well, he was talking about fulfillment and the importance of meaning. And uh, he gave a speech in which he told the story of one morning at Disneyland. He showed up early, and he was in Anaheim, California, standing under a little awning because it was raining, which is not that frequent in Anaheim, and Walt Disney drove up. And he walked over, and he stood outside in the rain. He stood looking at Mike, and he said, Mike, it's raining. And Mike said, yeah, I, I know. He said, well, you obviously don't get it. Rain is something you get out into. That, that's Walt Disney, right? So he said, come on, Mike, let's walk in the rain. What the heck? So they went splashing through Disneyland together in the rain, you know, jumping in puddles and things like that, and they're just getting soaked and paying no attention to it. And they're walking along Main Street, and they're looking at these storefronts with the bay windows, you know, the little wooden frames around the glass. And they stopped in front of one of them, and Walt Disney said, Mike, do you remember when you were a little kid? sitting inside a window like that and looking out at the rain? Yeah. Do you remember, as you did that, do you remember thinking, boy, you wait till I get to be a grown-up, what I'm going to do? And Mike said, yeah, I can remember that. He said, do you know what's nice, Mike? What? To be grown-ups like we are and to remember the kids we were back then. Yeah, nice. You know what's nicer? <laughs> no. To be grown-ups like we are, to remember the kids we were back then, and to know that we have become the person that little child hoped and dreamed someday we might become. And Mike said, wow, yeah. He said, you know what that's called? Mm -mm. It's called fulfillment. And it's something every human being dreams to achieve. And then he said, I hope you always have the kind of thinking that will make you the sort of person that as a child you hoped and dreamed someday you might become. Wow. Is that powerful? By the way, did you notice how silent this room got as I was sharing that? I mean, that's seriously powerful stuff. And everything I've been talking about in my presentation, you know, you can say, well, that wasn't really salesy. Yes, it was, because when you get that strongly connected with the why, when you get that focused on the audience, the recipient, the client, the meeting planner, when you get that aware of how to build a relationship that causes trust to grow, and you're intentional about everything you do, every, your movement, your dress, your, your choice of words and stories, when all of that comes together, Sales ensue. And it's not the kind of selling where you have to talk somebody into doing something. You just give instructions as to how to make this official, and they just do it. Because the resistance, the need for resistance goes away. Mm -hmm.